This week I share how a calm business insight that I can sort the chaos in my thinking that I experience in business transforms my stress levels from a bonkers 12 out of 10 to a 1 or 2 out of 10 and know what is causing this residual stress. Building on this insight, I discover what causes those chaotic stress levels and find an insight, a realisation, that takes me from chaos to business calm. I have been successfully working with a great team and inspiring leader. Together, we have been delivering exciting results. External pressures means that it's no longer possible to continue with my contract, which has been renewed three times, but I am so enjoying and want to continue working with this wonderful team. When my client, the Chief Executive, delivers the expected message that I too would deliver in her role, I feel my stress levels go stratospheric again. This is not unusual for me, though I have worked hard to manage my stress through personal development, therapy and other techniques, and the more mundane approaches of keeping busy, eating too much and numbing with alcohol. Through all of this, I found a moment of business calm and surface an insight. I can find a way to sort this stress. So I make it my mission to find a way to live without this stress in a place of business calm. I explore playfully with interest, excitement and determination, experimenting with different approaches till I find something that points me in a direction, a direction where I discover deep insights and realisations that make a lasting difference. I find the three principles and understand them at the level of insight. The principles look beyond my thinking and programming to understand the way that the mind works and see my unhelpful thinking and programming for what it is. These insights and realisations lead me to reliably access this place of business calm, where I am able to find game-changing insights create business breakthroughs and deliver results. This is a skill that I can teach and transfer to you. I'm sitting in an office with a really nice client, the chief executive of this small business. I have the utmost respect for her. She's engaging, thoughtful, inspiring, a great leader, makes good decisions, communicates effectively, runs a business well and delivers great results. We're having the conversation that I would have in her role about bringing my contract to an end. It's been extended three times and I really enjoy working with the business, delivering great results. It's the right decision for the business at the right time, but it's not the decision I want. I just want the job to continue. I know it's not a long-term thing for me, but I'm so enjoying working with such wonderful people and my first choice is to continue enjoying working with this inspiring team and not go on to the next thing. I feel the stress as she kindly and caringly delivers the message. The stress bubbles over and I feel my face tremble. I've known stress throughout my business life. Anything from a base level of 8 out of 10, where 10 is max, through to a 12 out of 10, I know. Stress levels as bonkers as it sounds. The ways to be free of stress I've tried haven't worked for me. Striving for achievement, money, external recognition, trying different businesses, workplaces and teams, eating too much, numbing with alcohol, therapy. Feeling acid pouring in my stomach, feeling weak in my muscles, fearful of what people close to me are going to say, feeling that I need a drink, get a bottle of wine on the way home, not to celebrate but to numb the stress. It feels like I'm at the bottom of a waterfall, unable to move out of the constant stream of water thundering onto me. In all of this, I have a calm business insight. I can sort this and move from business stress to business calm. I realise that this is the most important thing for me right now, my mission. Where does all my business stress come from? Well, in my case, and I don't pretend to be alone or unique in this, stress for me started early. My base levels of stress come from my upbringing. Being locked in the thinking from my upbringing left me with a constant feeling of acid in my stomach, muscles turning to water in stressful situations. Add business stress and it just continually grew for me. When things got too much for me, I would look for another career, another location, another team to work with. 
my calm business insight, in the office with my caring client, in a situation stressful for both of us, was that it doesn't have to be like that, and that I can find a pathway to business calm. I start a journey, experiment, play and explore. Therapy, a foundation course in psychology, conferences, conversations, reading, searching. And find a set of principles. I am interested, fascinated, curious. Surely there is a template, a set of things to do, a recipe to follow, something to learn and apply. It turns out that this is not true. The principles point in a direction and help me to find the answers, answers that come from within me. So what are these principles? The underlying principles of business calm come from a set of insights of the late Sidney Banks. Sidney was a Scottish welder living and working in Canada. In 1973, he saw three principles about the way that the mind works, mind, consciousness and thought. Mind is the formless energy and intelligence behind all life, constant and unchangeable, creating the life force you see in every moment, different to our personal mind, which is in a perpetual state of change. Consciousness is our gift of awareness powered by the universal energy, allowing recognition of form. Form is an expression of thought. Thought arises from the universal energy, the creative agent we use to direct us through life. Thought is not self-created, it is not our thinking. There is a picture showing the principles of mind, consciousness and thought on the thoughts page of my website, businesscalm.co.uk, in the article titled, From Chaos to Business Calm, My Journey. These principles are at the heart of human experience in each moment. Understanding these principles and the way the mind works from the inside out, creating clarity, insight and realisation, has enabled me to reliably find moments of business calm, overcome blockages, access business breakthroughs and deliver results. This is a transferable skill, which I share with my clients. A moment of business calm, available to me when I need it. A realisation that I don't need to live a life of stress. Realisations that mean I don't live a life of stress in business. A realisation that I have all that I need within me. That I can find that and help you to find it too. Now I am standing under the waterfall. Enjoying the thunder of water. Knowing that the thundering water is just my thinking. My thinking about stress, sales, customers, profit and loss. All the aspects of the business. I share business calm with you, teaching you the principles of business calm, so that you can reliably find your calm, and from that place find the insights, business breakthroughs, and deliver results in this dynamic business world. The good news is that this is not a bare all to fix all approach. It's not about picking over the past. It's a warm, engaging, exciting, playful, and thoughtful approach. Completely confidential, of course. We start from the knowledge that you're fine, that there is nothing wrong, even if it doesn't feel like that in this dynamic business world, and we explore calm in a trusted place, searching, playing, exploring. Together we go beyond thinking, beyond programming to the mechanics, the way the mind works, and find your place of calm. And in this place of calm, find insights and realizations that make a difference. So what does that look like as real examples in business? Many of my podcasts point in this direction. For example, the insight that secrecy is blocking profitability, which with other insights creates a pathway to profit. The insight that chasing money is distracting from creating value. Each time there is a dynamic business whirlwind or thundering business waterfall going on. And in a moment of calm, clarity, insights and realisations are found. You can find moments of calm, discover insights that lead to business breakthroughs and deliver the results. Business calm in flow, business calm achieved.